Tens of thousands of people across New Mexico received negative coronavirus test results yesterday, but it turns out they were all a mistake. News 13's Courtney Allen joins us live from her home this evening with details. Courtney. Dean, the erroneous messages were sent out to 30,000 people statewide. Jen Stillions of Santa Fe was one of them. I was just really concerned because I was like, oh my God, how many people might be positive and have tested recently and got, gotten this email slash text and then gone out and exposed other people? Stillian says she took a test yesterday and got an email hours later saying her result was negative. She thought it was too soon for her results to come back. Turns out that message was part of a technical glitch. Stillian is concerned people like her who recently tested, received the incorrect message, and now are under the impression they're negative. The Department of Health says the erroneous messages went out to people who have previously tested negative in the past. Some report they received the message after last testing months ago. A spokesperson for the Department of Health says it was not a scam or malicious attack, but a technical hiccup and says it won't happen again. Our software provider was updating the provider portal on our COVID website last night. And as a result, there was technical glitch. So the texts were basically repeats of those prior notifications. You know, we're doing everything we can to make sure that um, everything is checked and double checked. The Department of Health says all 30,000 people were contacted, notifying them of the error and apologizing. They say this has no effect on the daily cases reported to the public. Some people have reported receiving the notification without ever testing before. The Department of Health says that may be due to someone else, like their spouse, using their phone number or email in the past while testing. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. The DOH says test results usually take three to four days to get back. We have posted the number and the email address that originated those erroneous messages. Just go to alwaysonkrqe.com.